My name is Professor John Wyatt and I'm a specialist in medical ethics. Doctors play a unique role in our society and the question as to whether doctors should assist in the suicide of their patients, of their friends or relations, goes to the very heart of what it means to be a physician and what the doctor-patient relationship means. Current guidelines by the General Medical Council uh, specifically state that doctors should not uh, use their specialist skill and knowledge to assist uh, patients to harm themselves or to kill themselves. Uh, if any change in the guidelines of how doctors should work in society are, are going to take place, uh, it's really important that there's wide consultation before this fundamental understanding, which goes back 2,000 years, is changed. For more than 2,000 years, doctors have committed themselves to use their specialist skill and expertise only to help their patients and never to harm them or to kill them or to assist their suicide. If we change the wording about the and guidelines for doctors who are approached by people requesting suicide, then we are fundamentally changing this understanding of what it means to be a physician, which goes back more than 2,000 years. At the moment, the guidelines which come from the General Medical Council uh, are very clear that doctors must not use their expertise in any way to assist uh, patients to commit suicide. If we change our understanding of, of what it means to care for patients, uh, to include the possibility that we might assist suicide, uh, then this changes the very nature of the doctor-patient relationship. A small number of doctors have publicly stated that they would like to use their expertise in order to assist some people to kill themselves. If we change the guidelines for doctors, it's possible uh, for individuals to extend their activities in assisting suicide. Following an extremely well-informed and open debate, uh, the House of Commons has voted decisively to reject a change in the law for doctors to assist suicide for th their patients. Parliament has spoken clearly and we need as a country to recognise the power of the democratic process.